Marilyn Wilson here with my coffee for the day on Friday. I think we all need a little more of that than usual, right? <laughs> it gets a little crazy in these, these weeks. Um, we've got a, a great program for you today uh, with a, another one of my absolute favorite MLS leaders who does some really fun things for the Chicagoland realtors. And she's going to show us ways today that the MLS can help you secure listings, leads, and new types of business opportunities. And as you probably have heard me speak, if, you, if any of you have listened to this before, I talk a lot about how you know, there's really great resources available for you without really spending any additional money, whether that be coming through your brokerage, through your MLS organization, and this is a great example of that. Um, so I always love to show you all the kind of cool things that are available through MLSs. Even if you're not in Chicago, there's lots of things here that probably are in your local market. So it's a great way for you to, um, you know, to, to try to take advantage of all of those things. So with that, I'm going to um, run over it. Just to remind everybody that um, with we'd love to have you participate and ask questions. So if in the right-hand side, you'll see the control box. Um, and it says, you know, there's a thing for questions. Just click that little gray triangle, and it will open it up for you. And then you can ask us all kinds of fun questions, OK? So we, we love to hear that. And I'm sure Rebecca's want, want, will answer some really fun ones for you, too. So let me officially introduce her. Rebecca Jensen is the um, president and CEO of MRED, which stands for Midwest Real Estate Data. Is that right, Rebecca? Yeah, right. Um, so they manage a good chunk of all of the listings um, in the Illinois area, and especially surrounding the Chicagoland area. And they serve on uh, how many associations are part of you? Uh, 17, and we spill over the borders into Wisconsin and, you know, Indiana, Iowa, surrounding states. So That's awesome. And um, I wanted to say hello to a few of our regulars. Uh, Mary is here, and Robert, and Tim. Thank you guys again. Phillip's here. Uh, a lot of people that come in just about every day, Rebecca, to hear all kinds of neat things from folks like you. So it's great cool. to have them all with us. And you're gonna, not going to be disappointed by this one. She's got some really fun stuff, to, especially toward the end. So hope, make sure you don't leave until the end. Um, so, you know, obviously this whole virtual selling thing has come at us like a freight train, shall I say. Um, you know, what has Emra done to, to help uh, all of its members figure out how to, even, even in a market like yours that was considered essential all the time, there mm -hmm. were more and more needs for virtual. What have you guys done to, you know, to help people with that? Well, we really try to focus on our role as like a centralized place to communicate to all of our members. And we've got over 45,000 uh, subscribers that, um, throughout that area we talked about earlier, have mm -hmm. access to our products and services. And, um, and we have a ton of vendors that really step up to the plate and act quickly on this. And so we basically created a COVID page off of just our main website and then updated that with a ton of different information. This particular section of that page talks about the tools that our vendors turned into more of a virtual aspect. And so, for example, um, Remind was one of our vendors that stepped up early and, you know, they made some changes to their systems to facilitate, you know, the live streaming of open houses, which was very tricky, especially, you know, in the early days on that. Um, obviously showing time, you know, immediately responded. And not only did they tweak the way that showings were done, but they also gave us some awesome statistics so that we could really track, you know, that leading indicator on the market about, you know, what are showings doing, you know, is real estate really at a standstill or not. Um, mm -hmm. Google Snap made some changes, and so we put those on there. And also, more recently, Cloud CMA has released some changes that integrates their um, CMA platform with either Zoom or Skype or um, Google, just so those people that don't feel comfortable with, you know, being next to an actual physical person, they need to use their computer to do the same kind of delivery of their listing presentation, have that mm -hmm. as an option. So. We, um, like I said, worked with our vendors and then wanted to make sure that our members knew what tools were available when they became available. So, that's awesome. And I'd love to ask the audience, how many of you guys have tried doing a virtual showing, a, li a live virtual showing, whether that be using a virtual tour or actually in the home or recording one and then displaying it later? I'd love to know how many of you guys have tried that and how well it's working for you so far, because it is awesome. I, I agree with you, Rebecca. So many companies have stepped up in 
absolute real time. If you if you ever said, okay, in the next three weeks, these five vendors all need to build me new functionality. Can you imagine? People would be like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how much so many people have stepped up in such amazing ways to help realtors in their time of need. So I, I think it's awesome. And, and those are just a few, right? There's tons of them that have done it, but those are really good examples. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Um, so tell us about this. This is this is really interesting. Yeah, this is something that we created um, pretty much as soon as our state went on a shelter in place order. And so we thought that it would be important to pull a key, a uh, few different statistics from our system and put them into an easily read chart type format um, that we update weekly. And so this is just the under contract one, but we have similar graphs that show, you know, the number of showings and um, how many have sold, uh, it, the inventory levels, how many listings were moved out of an active into a temporary hold status with no showings. Um, there's probably at least a dozen that are part of this report that we put on our website so that we could really be a resource for market information that they could rely on being updated every single week. Um, so that's what this is an example of. And then again, our vendors stepped up as well and created some of their own data off, off of the products that they provide to really track how the impact to our market um, was being felt. Well, the, the, first of all, if you look at this data, the blue bars are the, uh, the, the 2020 under contracts. While they're, of course, lower than they were last year, you can see how they're really starting to pick up um, momentum, right? So that's... Really good news, but what, what's really neat about this to me um, is, is Rebecca said, this is all public, right? It's on their website, it's really attractive. I mean, this is a beautiful chart. There's many of them like that. And I know we've talked a lot on the show about um, how it's great to reach out to people right now, you know, make sure they know you're there for them, ask them how they're doing. And then if the you know, conversation naturally goes toward, well, how's the market, which you know, it many times does, They've got some great statistics in here that sh that you could literally grab a screenshot of this thing and, and you know send it to somebody. Um, so it's a great example of ways that your MLS can help you. So some MLSs may others may be doing this. I think this is one of the prettiest examples and the most easy to find examples. It's like right on their website. Um, but you can pull this information yourself. And we're going to look at a couple of other products in a second that you may have in your market that you can use it for. And if you don't know how to do this, this is a great thing to reach out to your MLS with and say, hey, I really, really want to have some visual ways to show what's going on in the market. Can you help me? Because they have, you know, they're, pretty much every MLS in the country has capability to do something like this. Um, sometimes they're sharing this information with the media, for example, which you've probably seen articles like that. So they're already pulling it. Um, so if you think this kind of information would be helpful, reach out to them because they can probably you know, find a way to do it. Um, and again, I think it's really encouraging that the markets, and, and as we were talking about before the show started, Rebecca, you said there, that showings are way up again too, right? They, they kind of follow that same curve of significant increases. Yeah, we definitely had that drop down and now it's just come back up to the same level that, you know, the previous year, if you look at a chart like this, they kind of intersected and we're actually just slightly above this year on the showings for this week for the first time, you know, mm -hmm. since this pandemic hit. So. It's encouraging for sure to see that, you know, it is a, a U-shaped graph and not an L. <laughs> so, which is what gotcha. I was worried about. So we, we just got some feedback. Um, Mark or Dennis says that he's um, has he's done a virtual Matterport tour, like a 3D tour. He hasn't actually done it live though, because he said his clients really weren't into that, but he used the 3D tour. And let's see what Philip says. Um, all showing start the way that work great. So he's he's been trying some of that too. Um, oh, and Marcy's actually asking a link for a link for this page. Um, Michael, if you want to grab this, my my magic man behind the <laughs> the curtain here. If you want to grab a link from the site and share that, it's a really good example of the way. And there's all kinds of cool right statistics. LLC.com COVID. Is Just, what you're okay, so MRED LLC LLC.com forward slash COVID. Yeah, or, or if you just go to LLC.com and or never at LLC.com and then there's a big box or link or whatever that says COVID. So it's all right there. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find it. You're right. Just go look for COVID. That's that uh, and probably you can even even type M it'll probably pop up. But anyway, great example of of ways that um there's you know, some people, not all clients, but some people really resonate 
data resonates with people, right? Because they're worried, you know, is my house not as worth as much? Am I not going to be able to sell it? Is it a bad time for me to sell it? All those questions that you get all the time, this kind of information can help some people say, um, no, I think you should, you know, yes, that it makes sense. Let's see. Let's see. Chart shows that 2020 had really started with a bang and then, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it was, this was a huge, your first part of the year was really strong, right? Then you took a hit, but it looks like it's rebuilding pretty quickly. So that's awesome. It is. It's definitely encouraging news. And, you know, it really does come into play with those conversations, especially when you have an offer on the table and they think the market's one way and it's not. You know, that right. really affects the transaction conversation when you're negotiating a deal. So we thought that it was really important to show, you know, this week is different than last week. And there's a definite trend line that you can see. And I think if I if, if I remember right, we're seeing the same new showings are increasing pretty significantly as well. In fact, maybe even a little more significantly than under contract. Is that right? Yeah, we've They're got enough. Enough that's just on the number of new listings that are added and then also because we have a temp status that a lot of people just move their active listings into temp because they didn't want mm -hmm. the showings um, but those are coming back too so you know it's all heading right. in the right direction well good so let's go to the next slide because there's there's a couple of really cool tools that again many of you probably have or have something like it tell us about these yeah so i think i mentioned cloud cma earlier but they have been really stepping up and doing additional innovations and i'm hearing great things about um, their new feature that allows you to basically not have to be next to somebody on a listing presentation and then be able to integrate it with either zoom or google and be able to tweak those comps on the cma in real time with the mls mm -hmm. data connection um, so I'm hearing great things about how beautiful that is and great functionality. So shout out to WNR Studios for great work. Um, mm -hmm. And then InfoSparks is something that we offer as part of our service. Um, it's not additional money, but uh, it allows our agents to really go into a greater detail. Um, the charts that you just previously showed were across the entire MRED marketplace. Um, but InfoSparks lets you really drill down. So it's really important, obviously, for agents to be neighborhood experts. And uh, that's why we offer that as a service. And that InfoSparks is owned by Showing Time. Um, if any of you have, if you know about that, the appointment software. So if you've, if you've tried Showing Time and you've never checked out InfoSparks, a lot of times they're bundled into one. So check and see, you may already have it. But these are, the InfoSparks is, I, I think, one of the best um, market stats products not be just because the data is great but because it's visually really easy to understand when you say rebecca oh yeah and they do such a great job with you know reaching out to us and listening to feedback that we get from our subscribers and using that to modify their offering so they've mm -hmm. done a good job and i we, we we had cloud cma on the show a couple of weeks ago and they told us that this was coming so i'm trying to get greg back on he can display this for us again because it's um, they, oh, the whole idea of, you know, if you can't sit at the kitchen table, how do you do this? He's, he's come up with a really good way to not slow that process of trying to secure new listings down at all, even if you, you don't want to or can't get into the home yet. No. So it's uh, really Thank stuff. you, Mavis, and I'm, I'm hearing great things from our agents about it. So it's worth the time to check it out. Well, and, you know, we've talked about this before, too, but I, I got to believe that some of this isn't going to just be for the next few weeks. Like, why would you not, you know, there might be a client that doesn't want you to come in their house. Why, why wouldn't you want to do an interactive listing presentation? Or what if you've got, uh, you know, someone, let's, let's say that you're based in Florida and you've got some clients in, in Buffalo where I used to live that might want to move, move to Florida, right? These are great ways to do these kinds of things without having to, um, to physically be present anymore. So I think oh, we're going to see more of that. I've definitely talked to agents that are getting clients from the East Coast, especially like in the New York area. They're wanting to move to the suburbs of Chicago. You know, you know those neighborhoods like the Home Alone house that was in a suburb of Chicago and they're beautiful. And, you know, so those types of clients that haven't yet made the move would have to just because of the distance factor. You know right. not to mention the pandemic want to use some of these tools and so it'll be fascinating to see how people migrate from states um you know when they can use tools like this dennis is picking on me he said oh buffalo to florida why would you do that <laughs> no no don't be nice to florida i mean be, be nice to florida and be nice to buffalo it's a great city it's like a smaller version of where where i'm where uh, emrad is in chicago right rebecca 
It's a great, <laughs> great place. And I know there's some Rochester people on here, so you back me up on that. It's a good place. <laughs> okay. What is this one all about? Tell us about HomeSnap Pro. So HomeSnap Pro, we have really been a huge supporter of not just HomeSnap, but also the Broker Public Portal Project, which is really the industry coming together to um, collaborate on a great tool. And so we've had this for a number of years in our marketplace, and we've actually spent our own money doing consumer level advertising so that we can provide um, you know, not just one side of the equation being the agent side, but also the consumers all using the same platform, which is when it really shows its power. And so we have had, like this says, over 200,000 leads that have been delivered to our marketplace, to our agents that, and this is just included in the MRED um, service. So it's not an additional cost to use it. And um, as far as product adoption goes, it's hard to find one outside of the actual MLS platform itself that um, has as high of a number. We're at 70% of our subscribers that have logged in and downloaded the app and created an account. Um, it's really good for software. So we're uh, proud and happy partners of HomeSnap. Well, yeah, and I mean, think about this. There's a million, actually, I think it's even more than a million agents. The number changes all the time of agents across the country that are all contributing their active listings and, and pendings and solds into the system, right? So if if you're in a listing presentation and someone says, what are you gonna do to promote my listing? This is a great tool to rely on, right? It's not only really strong in your local market, and this is in many, many markets, by the way. Again, another thing, go into your MLS and see if you've got this. If you, if you don't, tell them that you want it because it's a great tool and it's not expensive. Um, but this is a great place to say, there's actually across the country, um, HomeSnap's delivered 2 million leads. So 200,000 of them have just come into Chicago. And if any of you have ever tried to buy leads, you know how expensive they are. So 200,000 came into you as just part of your MLS subscription. Not to right. mention the fact that over a million agents across the country can see your listing. So again, if there's any of those, like you say, Rebecca, people moving from New York into Chicago or you know, people move from all over the country, right? Um, it's a great thing to take credit for in your listing, listing presentation, and it doesn't cost you anything. Whereas many other lead generation programs, of course, as you guys know, can cost you tons and tons of money. The other thing I love about this one, I'm sorry, I get excited about this one, um, is that this whole system was engineered, not, unlike, and I, shall I name them? I don't need to. The other third parties that are not part of MLS, <laughs> you guys figure out who I mean, right? <laughs> Um, many of them were not engineered to put you in the center. They were out engineered to put advertising in the center. This one is all about you, and it's really cool. You can literally, with one button, invite anybody that you want to to join you on the app, and then they can talk to you back and forth like through texting and stuff. It's, it's a really cool way for you to encourage consumers, if they're looking at property or even just watching the market, to come with you. So. And yeah. look at that. There's the like with home snap to where you know how um, you have the auto search function, so an agent can stay in contact with their client on any new listings that pop into the MLS. Um, home snap actually integrated directly with our MLS platform, so that our agents can choose whether or not it's the native MLS system, in our case, Dyna Connections Connect MLS, mm -hmm. or if you want those safe searches to be delivered via home snap. So it's just one of those buttons that you know people can go in and click and change the experience. It's it's great. Now Pat asked a question, and I think Pat, I, I will uh, we'll grab your email if you want to put your email in. I, I'll send you over to the right place for this one. This is a more detailed question, but there's a thing called Home Snap University that has a lot of answers and a lot of training. Super really actually really good online training. But he asked. Um, how do we receive notifications of HomeSnap leads? Do we have to check the HomeSnap app or do we receive a text or an email? So that's a little different in, in each installation, but there's definitely training on that. Um, so it, I'm, I'm not sure if you're, if you're at MRED, you can go to MREDLLC.com and they'll have the training for you. But if not, I would go to HomeSnap University. Just go to HomeSnap.com and then you'll see a thing that says HomeSnap University and that can help you answer that question. Yeah, they're apps are okay. cool. So if you get a lead, it just dings your on your app and it gives you a notification, and then you can just respond everything through the app for us. Oh, good. So it just it just comes to you automatically. That's great. Um, well, and I think they probably have more options to like send it also via email and like all of that too. But I know I've watched it through the app, so I've seen people use it in our marketplace, and it's pretty easy. Yeah, and I think if I'm not mistaken too, and don't don't quote me on this, Pat, but I think they're starting to integrate with some CRM solutions as well. 
So I think sometimes they'll, they're, they're now starting to pass over or they're, they're finding easy ways for you to be able to do that. So there's lots of cool stuff happening there. But again, remember, free lead generation source, always, always there, only part of, the only thing you pay for is your MLS subscription, which you're already paying for, right? So if you think of your MLS subscription as just the MLS system, you're missing out on a whole bunch of fun, right, Rebecca? There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Definitely. Okay, next one. This is great too, I love this. Yeah, and so we tried to make sure that we focus on all the different segments of the business because agents don't all do just like single family residential, obviously. So um, these are some different products and services that we have deployed through the MRED marketplace. Um, Rental Beast is fairly self-explanatory, it's for rental listings, but essentially it's a way that um, those agents can go in and do like background checks and do online applications for tenants, um, which obviously is a huge component because buying the property is one thing, but then getting somebody that's really stable to come in and rent that is a critical component for an income property. So um, that's what Rental Beast does, is just provides additional tools for that segment. Um, new home source professional, again, self-explanatory, <laughs> it's for new homes. Um, because that really is a niche that um, deserves really its own technology platform in order to really nail it and keep up with all of the innovations in that sector. Um, and so they have done a good job in providing like open uh, searches and um, different floor plan options for new construction so that you can really tailor what a client that's only looking for new construction, um, you know, what their options are. So they've been a great partner. And then um, our platform for our MLS system is Dyna Connections. Their Connect MLS platform um, has undergone some significant um, improvements in the commercial space. And so MRED has a ton of different commercial property types and they were very patient to listen to all of our focus groups and have us go property type by property type to update all of the fields that are there to make them super current with what commercial um, is doing today. So we've seen a lot of traction in that um, just for the past year, so. So actually you just brought up something I wanted to ask you about, because I think this is interesting for those that um, that may not be, you know, on the direct board of directors or something other MLS, because that's, that's a ton of work. T tell us about, because obviously you've got a lot of cool stuff here and and we all know there's, and these guys are, are that are watching us and are, are now, now starting to see how many options there are for technologies out there. How does MRED decide, you know, which products to do, and what suggestions to make to make them better? How, how do you get to all that? Because there's so much to choose from out there. Yeah, well, first of all, I have an awesome team at MRED, um, led by Chris Haran, our CTO. He's so smart. And so um, he does a really good job in making sure that we know what, technologies are out there. And then we have a very disciplined internal process um, to always have our ear to the ground as much as possible to see what is the market doing? What do our agents want? And so we do uh, twice a year, an NPS survey, which is like a two question survey to all of our subscribers saying, you know, how do you rank us on a scale of one to 10 sort of thing? And then, you know, what's, what can we do better? And it's just open filled. So we look at all of those comments, we get thousands of suggestions and we categorize them. And then it's just a disciplined process to go and try to find things. If we already have a product, I mentioned Dyna Connections, you know, mm -hmm. they, um, in that case, they just wanted us to improve an existing product. And so then we'll focus group it and make sure that we're really listening and have the vendor change something, then take it back to the focus group and say, you know, this is what we did with what we heard, is it right? And if not, then we just iterate and go through that process. So I'm a huge believer in making sure that we are listening to the people that are using it on a daily basis. So focus group surveys, that sort of thing is absolutely vital. So that's awesome to hear that because, you know, I think sometimes people wonder how did, how did something get there, right? This isn't, you're not just going, oh, we'll try that one today, right? There's a lot of, of customer input that's driving what you do, which is awesome. Um, again, if, if guys, if you're not from the Chicago market, um, you know, ask your MLS, what are they doing about that? Are they, have they been asking your opinion? Are they doing sort of satisfaction surveys to find out what's working and what isn't? And if they're not, ask them to, because that's, you know, you're you're their customer and you have every right to ask them that. And not not 
to be mean or anything, just to say, hey, I have great ideas. How do I share them? I know many of you do because you give them with, to me all the time on the show. So um, share it with them too, because they can appreciate that input. And a lot, of, a lot of MLSs do the kinds of things that Rebecca's talking about. Okay, um, what is this one all about? This is really interesting too. Well, this again came from our NPS survey scores. Uh, a lot of our agents wanted us to save them time on the listing input side of things. And, you know, this has been a topic of conversation in the MLS industry for a while now, um, up to and including, you know, the whole upstream, you know, announcement from the stage at CMLS a number of years ago, and it's just saying, hey, we need to have a better process to getting listings into the system. And so it's something that MRED is really embracing. Um, the RESO logo on there uh, is because RESO has a work group, RESO Real Estate Standards Organization um, that creates like your data dictionary and your APIs and things. They're working on a standard for inputting. So we're definitely supportive of everything at RESO. And then our uh, MLS platform, Dyna Connections Connect MLS system is completely being revamped to make sure that we minimize the amount of time that it takes to input a listing, but then also what can we do with that as far as pushing that listing through broker systems or through vendor systems to make it super easy. So um, it's a huge focus of ours right now. That's awesome. Yeah, the, yeah. The, I don't. we haven't really talked about resale. That's kind of a, um, a very technical thing that many of you guys probably are not aware of, but it's the basis for a lot of what, exactly what Rebecca said. It makes life a lot easier for you. Um, and yeah, if you can make listing inputs faster, easier, different formats, any way to make it so it's not such a, a burden and to make sure it's accurate too. That's another key part of it, right, Rebecca? Exactly. So you yep. have, when you're looking at a listing, you know you're looking at the right information. That's awesome. Okay, good. This one's really cool. We're getting cooler as we go down the road. Tell us about this one. I love this one. <laughs> part of our input process. Um, and so we are now trying to use artificial intelligence to help us with our compliance and our descriptions of inputting listings. And so we have um, been working with a vendor, recipe.ai, that um, has created this artificial intelligence. Essentially, every time a photo is submitted to MRED, then this artificial intelligence looks at the photo and um, we first started with our compliance process to make sure that the contents of the photo didn't include, you know, like contact information or some of the things that are prohibited by policy. So it makes it easier for us to police. But then we, uh, our next phase was to start putting in the description of the actual photo. So is this a kitchen? Is this a bedroom? What is it? Um, and we're training it on that element and that will then allow um, like ADA software to be able to read what is in that photo without having to have the agent go in photo by photo and yep. type it in. It just automatically will add it for you. And then our phase three is once we're um, fairly sure that the algorithm is trained enough, then it'll start describing what the contents of the photo are. And so that'll be a great way to be able to search for, you know, a kitchen, not just a kitchen, but a kitchen with white cabinets or stainless steel appliances because the computer vision will be able to put that into the description. And then again, we'll be able to feed that back out to any of our other technology providers. And I can't wait to see like the new innovation that they'll be able to use once we have another layer of data in the MLS. So it's been a fun project to work on. So it's it gets better data for everyone. It makes sure that those with disabilities can can get get full access, which I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced any of this, but there have been a lot of lawsuits about that recently in real estate and across the internet. And then third is it can make the experience with the consumer even more rich, right? So if I, and I've seen this demonstrated, it's really cool. So if I said, I only want like Rebecca's example, I only want kitchens with white cabinets. You can actually search for kitchens with white cabinets. And sometimes you don't even have to search. If you find a kitchen that you like with white cabinets, it will automatically show you other kitchens with white cabinets right next to it. So it makes the, the engagement level with consumer, if they start, it's kind of, if any of you have ever been on a site like House, H-O-U-Z-Z, -Z, for example, um, that's great for like, if you're looking to do renovations and things, but they're, it's sort of getting along those same lines. So it's gonna make, um, like I've seen one where you can, I think it, it it's, I don't know if it's called sunny kitchens or sunny rooms or something like that. And it'll show you rooms that just have lots of natural light. Cause you know, some people that's a really big deal, right? 
it's really, really cool. So, you know, the old days of three bedrooms and two baths are starting to, uh, it's kind of outdated. There's going to be a lot, lot more relevant and targeted ways that a consumer can search. And these are the kinds of things that your MLS is going to bring to you. And probably some of your technology companies that, that are doing websites and things might bring to you eventually too. So really fun stuff. And this one, my next one, I think this one is really groovy too. Tell us about this one. <laughs> Sorry guys, I get excited about this stuff. <laughs> I love talking about it too, so thank you. Um, yeah, this is another vendor integration that we have. Um, this one is with Boyster. And so um, we have uh, an app right now that you can download and install if you're a member and subscriber that will allow you to access certain features of the MLS through just our vo that voice command. You know, I don't know about you, but I love telling my phone what to do. Um, so we are taking that sort of concept and integrating it into the MLS. And again, this is one that we are focus grouping so that we started, you know, just by dipping our toe in, doing a couple features. And um, now we absolutely have a roadmap to include more of our agents being able to tell uh, our MLS system what to do so that they don't have to use their thumbs on a mobile device or, you know, log into a desktop. We just say it and it should happen so that's our vision of it and um so it, it exists in some functionality today and more to follow soon so how cool would this be guys if you're driving down the street and you're you're driving the car because let remember we can maybe someday we'll get people back in our cars right <laughs> they're in the car with you and they say so you know how how does the market look in this you know how, how strong is this particular neighborhood and you could literally ask your phone that question and it would read it back to you as you were sitting in the car with them how cool would that be right or um i love this too it's like don't forget your listing's about to expire and it, it reads that to you so you know to and i would guess eventually it'll say can you do you want to extend the the time frame of your listing or something yeah. is that is that in the cards too rebecca those sort of things or going back to the last example hey email me all of the kitchens with white cabinets in this zip code uh, yes ma'am and away you go right and i didn't have to do anything other than talk to my mls system so it's exactly so those cool. sort of things and then um yeah. going back to risa we want to work with all of our vendors to have a voice enabled integration so that all of our platforms work with each other through a simple voice command so that's what we're Would working would I be able to set up a listing that way too? Yeah, well, I mean, again, we're focus grouping it to prioritize, but I want to fully embrace this because I already do it on my phone. So why wouldn't our MLS system work the same way? Right, that's really cool. I, I love, again, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a geek, you guys know that. I love this stuff, <laughs> but I, I, I especially love technology that seems practical that you're like, oh, that makes my life easier. That's a good thing. And it looks simple and easy to use. If I, if I have a mouth and I have a phone, I can use it. I'm good, right? <laughs> Doesn't right. seem too complicated. That's awesome. Good stuff. Well, thank you, Rebecca. These are great examples of the kinds of things that are, um, you know, that MLSs are doing. And again, not just not just MRED, but many across the country are doing. If you are part of Chicago, you should be thankful because they do great stuff for you guys. Um, and many other MLSs around the country do too. So. Um, yeah, just wanted to just give you some other highlights. And, you know, there's, we've, we've talked to many other MLSs. When we send this recording out, we'll send you the recordings of the other ones too, because they've all given us great ideas and examples of the way MLSs help you. So you may see something in there that you, you never knew was even possible. And again, I'll, I'll say it one more time. I say it all the time. Go into your MLS and go see where all those, you know, all the logos are in that little dashboard that you log in and just push one of them. I guarantee you're going to find some cool stuff you didn't know that you were getting and you were already paying for it. It will cost you not one extra dollar. So it's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let me just take us to the next. Uh, whoops, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> But wait, there's more, right? And this yes. one, I'll be real quick. Um, I mean, we talked about how Emmer is trying to get vendors to work with each other and to make data flow easily. So the MLS grid is uh, kind of a network of a lot of other MLSs across the country that are basically have the same vision to make data easy to either put into the MLS or bring out of the MLS so that an agent can, you know, go to a trade show, get an application and have it easily plugged into the MLS and start receiving data with like no time and headache. So that's what the MLS grid is in a nutshell. So. Yeah, there's a lot of, of fun things behind the scenes that are like this, that MLSs are trying to do to make it easier for you guys, especially if you operate in more than one MLS market or your brokerage does. 
Um, so yeah, this is this is great stuff and lots more to come. Hopefully the next time we see this will be lots of green dots all over this, right, Rebecca? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, okay, so I wanted to let you know who we've got coming up next week. We've got um, Aaron Cardell on Monday. He's from the uh, founder and CEO of HomeSpotter. And that's an, another terrific mobile app actually offered by many MLSs around the country too. And he's going to talk about open houses and those virtual showings and, and what's coming next. So he, like many CEOs of technology companies, has stepped up in a big way to bring really cool, exciting new ways for you guys to do business virtually and otherwise. So he's going to be here on Monday. And then Tuesday, we've got Richard Kelman, who's the president and CEO of Prospect Converter. Um, he's more of a, an agent broker centric product, and he's going to talk to us about how to make sure that those leads that you do get from all of the different sources never fall, you know, don't go, don't fall out of that leaky bucket and fall on the ground and die, right? He's going to make sure that you learn how to convert all of them. That's a really cool product as well. So we'll just keep them coming. <laughs> you guys tell us when you want us to stop. And if you don't, we're just going to keep them coming. Um, and if any of you would like to get um, coffee chats, you know, in your inbox, auto registered automatically every day, uh, some people have actually quite a few have done that. Just either uh, put it your inbox in the inbox to now today. Put your um, I'm sorry in the question box. Put your email address and we'll get you signed up. Or just email me at Marilyn at retechnology.com and we'll get you signed up for that too. So you'll never miss one of these. And also, if you haven't yet done it, um, if you if you like to get uh, YouTube videos sent to your inbox, go to YouTube and then type in RE Technology Inc. exactly the way it's written there with no space. Um, hit the subscribe button and then also hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and then every time a coffee chat gets published, a recording of that gets published, you'll be able to see those as too so you'll never miss them and it's a super easy way if you want to share it with someone or you want to show it to your team or your broker or yourself, whatever, that's a great way to do that. And then finally, um, many of you uh, uh, get uh, uh, subscriptions to RE Technology through your MLS for free of charge. It's normally a $200 a year fee, but you get it free. So check with your MLS. Again, go to those either all those links or to those the dashboard or the product tab, whatever wherever you see products in your MLS, and make sure that um, if you have it that you've registered to get you know the the newsletters and things. If you have not, if if you don't see it, go to retechnology.com and on the top right hand side there's a section that says create account. Go there and click on the monthly option and then use the 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 uh, codes that are there and we'll give you three months of it for free because we're trying to give everybody access to the stuff because we know everybody's trying to figure out what's next, right? What's the best way for me to support my clients as I move forward? So anyway, thanks again to everybody for for coming today. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And Rebecca, thank you so much. We're, we're so appreciative of you being here today. My pleasure. Thank you so much. You do great work and I love our e-technology newsletter. So thank you. You're welcome. And and everybody, again, if you're from Chicago, don't miss out. That We just saw a little smattering of all the great things that, that uh, MRED does for you guys. They have a lot, lots more stuff. And on theirs, it's neat. If you can just go to products and you'll see them all in one place. So it's really easy to see what availability is there. Um, and with that, we'll tune out for today. Everybody have a great weekend. My daughter is graduated from high school this weekend. So I've got a very big weekend coming up. Very excited about that. Um, and I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon on Monday. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you.